assessment, how to publish your work in public assessment. Uh, for starters, I will ask you to forgive me for my, uh, for my English. I won't even attempt to, to do an accent. Um, and I don't have the habit of speaking, speaking English, so if I start speaking gibberish, uh, stop me and I try to, to resume. Um, I would, like to, I would like to ask you if you already have any question regarding open access to see if my presentation will answer them or not. No? Well, I have a few questions. What is open science for you? So you can research without the as a user, yes. yes. Um, but if you produ produce open science... Uh, you have to make the research accessible for everyone. Yeah, that's the same. And uh, Sorry. Uh, how do you think uh, one can do that? Uh, yeah, to publish in open access definitely is probably one, one option. Or to uh, put, put it under the creative comments. What I want to say is uh, open science is uh, threefold. It uh, includes uh, uh, publications, articles, uh, intervention, intervention in Congress. It also involves uh, research data. And the third part that is often ignored is uh, open source uh, software. The idea is that open science, um, uh, we open science, you can share your publication, but uh, more importantly, your research. That means that others uh, can reproduce uh, your observation and reproduce your analysis. That means sharing the data that you collected and uh, using the same so software that you use yourself. So that means less of intellectual property, though. The best of intellectual property will be that um, well, that is, uh, that is uh, <coughs> um, open uh, science, open access doesn't mean that you uh, forfeit your your, uh, your uh, the other's right. Um, that, that only means that uh, you control what others can do with uh, what you publish. Um, when I do. Uh, when we speak about uh, sharing research data, there is a, a saying in France and probably uh, in other countries, as uh, open as possible, as closed as necessary. You can share everything as soon as you publish. Uh, for example, for patents, you need to keep the research uh, confidential until the patent is uh, validated. <coughs> Another question, what are the solutions to publish in open access? What do you know? Uh, what solutions do you know? Some journals uh, mm -hmm. are only open access, uh, others have a fee, mm -hmm. and... Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's one solution, uh, it is known as a gold open access. You you maybe know about uh, real open access? Oh, yes. yeah. 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 Here, are the, uh, here are the various uh, solutions. You have current channel publications. You publish uh, in uh, LTV and Nature journals, for example. Uh, to access the application, one need to subscribe to the publisher. Uh, the reader pays for access. Green Open Access, uh, the authors archive themselves their publications, either on an institutional or national uh, archive, or on their own uh, blog or archive. And Green Open Access, uh, these are open to uh, Open access publishers, you may be 
Windows, enfin, Windows à moi euh, Post One, euh, Interwi, Voyage of Pictures, that have an uh, open access policy. Here the application is immediately available. However, it's a model where the other person pays for uh, the open access of this application. Is there a bit more than green? Which one is? For green open access, uh, you have an application that may be you published in a paying journal, but um, you also can archive one version of your article. It will have maybe uh, the final the PDF by the publishers, but it will be uh, preprint. That means uh, version correctly, but not uh, already uh, yeah. uh, edited by the publisher. I don't know if it's uh, okay. Ah, like for example, release the preprint, but not the final version? Uh, that depends on the publisher. Uh, they have uh, various policies. But you can find the web level which policy each publisher has. <coughs> for uh, the code open access, for the Open access publishers. Um, the business model is the APC, article processing charge. You maybe already know that uh, that APCs are often for uh, for the editing work, but it's mostly for the um, open access. That's why we talk about an. Uh, Other author paying model. Like, uh, the researchers of the institution itself pay the, for the publication in open access. It's one of the most uh, cost effective business models for publishers. I was at, um, at a reunion of all the library uh, representatives uh, Tuesday, and uh, it was uh, compared to uh, a cost-effective uh, model uh, like um, drug or weapon trafficking. Uh, since uh, researchers or institutions pay to publish open access, but for most journals it's an hybrid access, which means some articles are uh, in open access, but some articles are uh, subscribed uh, on, subscriber only. So the institution paid to access the journal. So um, there, there are um, only profit for the for the publisher, uh, really uh, high cost. Um, if you want to know about APC in a farm, if you want to know how the the APC are. Um, What is the represent for each uh, country? You can use past application. site open APC
Voilà. If you wish to know what are the physicals for the French institution, you can see what they represent. Oh, which can be shared? Uh, this is the most uh, uh, FPC, uh, <coughs> FPC for the institution. OpenAPC is a reference to uh, inquire about the costs of uh, this is a plus one that is an open access journal that is most uh, uh, revenue uh, from APC. So, nature communication started to have an open access policy. Uh, and since it's, uh, it's one of the most prominent uh, publishers, you see that it is an important. They can take advantage of young researchers, often uh, PhD students. Uh, they create uh, short lived journals advertising of a high impact factor, either it's true or it's alive, <coughs> or straight up, copy a legitimate open access journal webpage and uh, your scientists. Thing is, no? Uh, they, they promise a uh, high visibility uh, with uh, impact factor and uh, quick and guaranteed publications. There will be a uh, few corrections to your, to your work, it will be available in a, um, in a month or less. And they make you pay for article processing charges. Um, that can be from uh, 1,000 euros to uh, 5,000 and higher. You can check uh, if a journal that uh, solicits your publication is on this web page. It lists uh, predatory journals and predatory publishers.
focusing on the articles and the conferences on the open archives you can publish any type of document articles, uh, conference, uh, part of ebooks, uh, patents and even uh, uh, working documents however that means that quality of publication will not be uh, as strong for open archives like I said, you can publish anything so you can publish documents that have not, be, uh, not, not been um, subjected to uh, peer review so on Green Open Access, on Open Archives you will have to check yourself uh, whether the publication is interesting or not questions regarding uh, Green or Gold Open Access? Um, how to publish in open access so this situation the current situation uh, for the uh, on the European Union level uh, you have uh, all the applications related to uh, H2020 you heard of that? Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> 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 the funding program from uh, uh, <laughs> uh, 2014 to 2020 with a 80 billion budget. One of the requirements for all projects, and here related uh, peer review journal articles, the, the researcher publish has to be made openly accessible free of charge. That means they have, they have to uh, be uh, put, uh, they have to be open access on any uh, version of the open access, gold or, gold or green. Uh, European Union also develops various initi initiatives to open open science cloud and European data infrastructures. Infrastructures. Uh, which are uh, various solutions to uh, to help support open uh, science. The Open Open Science Cloud uh, is, a, <coughs> is a website that uh, gives access to various, uh, various software to publish open access to, uh, to share data or software. The Open Data Infrastructure um, offers solutions <coughs> to uh, share or to stock uh, research data. Still on the European level, Plan uh, S, uh, which was launched by uh, the Coalition S, a consortium launched by major national, ma major res national research agencies and funders from 12 European countries Austria, Finland, France, Ireland, Ita Italy. For example, Netherlands, etc. Um, they have a few objectives. When, whenever uh, they publish, authors from the universities must, rename, must retain copyright of their work without restriction. The, the publication must be open access immediately. Must be open access immediately. They must be published under open license, CC BY, which means they are always <coughs> attributed to the author. Open access publication uh, costs are to be covered by funders or universities, not by individual authors. Um, the open access costs, uh, the APC, must be capped. Uh, the publishers have a tendency to, open, enfin, to, to up the price of the APC uh, whenever um, the libraries ask them to, uh, to downsize the subscri subscription cost. Here, the APC must remain stable. Um, the plan S refuses the hybrid model. The hybrid model uh, is a journal which offers uh, open access um, as an option. Every model is a journal, an algorithm journal has 
open access articles and uh, subscribe on the articles. Subscribe your own articles. <coughs> so these are the principles. I don't know, I don't think that they are already uh, um, in place. I don't know when they will be in place. The, the date was the uh, 1st January uh, 2020. I don't think that it's already uh, a standard. In France, uh, we have an, an advantage. Uh, we have a law that allows the authors to retain uh, part of their rights. Uh, whatever publishers uh, they publish in, uh, they can, uh, they can uh, publish 6 to 12 months after the, the original publication in an open archive. Um, earlier, you asked uh, what you can publish and when you can publish it. Sherpa Romeo is a website that allows you to know what the open policies are for the, uh, for the various scientific publishers.
the, the work with the LVM, as a, as a publisher, that it has so much um, journals yeah. and um, functions that I don't think uh, you can update it to, to be uh, purer than that. The, the, the global response is you can archive reputed post um, Then, according to which uh, journal uh, you publish, you will be able to, to archive uh, immediately, six months after, uh, 12 months after, two years after. Um, but this patch cannot be uh, more precise. Any questions? Why should you why should you publish in open access? I already uh, told you about uh, fund funding agencies that uh, as open access as an uh, obligation, but there are no reasons. Uh, future of scholarly publishing. That means uh, open access will help researchers uh, to have uh, an easier access to uh, to knowledge. European, European, European Open Science Cloud means that, that there's a, a European infrastructure that is being created. <coughs> Education and skills. More and more, uh, open access is added to the, the course of PhD students. Fair, findable, accessible, interoperable, reu reusable data. Um, research data has to uh, be usable by user, other researchers. That means that you can just uh, put on Google um, a data sheet without, um, without explanation, without a st uh, standard structure. structure. <coughs> Rewards and incentives, um, universities tend to have more and more uh, an open access policy. Uh, for example, all of uh, the researchers' articles must be published in open access. Or they will have uh, <coughs> a local structure to uh, stock and share data. <coughs> Next generation metrics. As I, as I uh, told you before, uh, more and more metrics evolve toward open access. Research integrity, um, sharing data means that uh, uh, any researchers can check, verify your results. Citizen science. Science evolves, and citizen science uh, start to uh, appear uh, uh, and just research. Uh, uh, sorry, I try to uh, translate in French what I <laughs> translate in English what I think in French. Um, citizen science means that anyone. Uh, can access research. But, uh, research is uh, financed uh, with uh, public funds for universities, and uh, science means that uh, the public can access uh, the, re the results of this research and can use them. <coughs> Open access has various tools. I don't know if you know any of these tools. AL is the uh, French Open Archive. It's a massive open archive with um, local uh, archive for various institutions. Uh, Archive.org is the uh, first main open archive. 
uh, it deals with uh, hard science, uh, computer science, uh, mathematical science. Uh, I think uh, the, there's a part on economy. Uh, open the way, DO with AR, uh, is a, a portal of open access repositories. Base uh, is um, base is um, uh, a search engine dedicated to open science. Unpayroll is a plugin um, which will uh, give you a link to an open access version of the article. If you uh, Install and on uh, Google uh, Chrome or Firefox. Each time you uh, go to Sales Direct, Springer, or other publishers' databases, the plugin and will uh, give you a link to um, legal the open access version of the code. It wants to redirect you uh, to uh, uh, a piloted version. But it will uh, directly <coughs> to uh, add archive power or another archive. It won't be direct you to Sayo or such a However, I refer uh, to European uh, projects, uh, B2Share and B2Find are two tools that allow you to uh, share your data or search with your data. Uh, I mentioned uh, Open Access Little Nodes, Gold uh, Open Access. Indawi is an example of an open access uh, publisher. Uh, the publisher deals with various uh, domains. DOAG, DOAG is a directory of open access journals and will uh, <coughs> allow you to browse various uh, open access journals. Uh, I refer to uh, Printory journals, DOAJ as well as um, Purge is uh, its databases of all DOBIOS uh, publishers. So you can find out to us DOAJ. And finally, the various publishers such as SAE and Springer uh, created an, uh, a tool to find their own open access journals whether full open access or hybrid channels. Uh, 
if you have uh, an article, you can state its title, put your site, a few keywords.
you can execute, for example, reports or master thesis and really focus on the treatment that, uh, that are uh, uh, very valid. Questions about um, the search? For information, it uh, use uh, OAI uh, TMH uh, to uh, uh, to harvest um, the data, so the metadata of the, the articles, various different influences. Publishers or um, small publishers, at least, it, is, it will uh, collect uh, journals for, from publishers that have, that have only uh, three or four titles. So you can find any. Um, Uh, 
1929. So if you, uh, if you are looking for a place to publish and access your work, if you are looking to open an archive, open the URL, the OER can be a solution if, you, if your institution does not have a local open archive. And payroll is a plugin, so you can find it on the plugin library of uh, most of the <coughs> other additional tools. Are you going to share this presentation with us? Uh, yes. Uh, I maybe will correct a few things or add a few things, but uh, I will. Uh, We have an author source page uh, that will give you APC price for <coughs> every two months. Yes, Standard price for one publication. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, some some uh, publishers, some journals, uh, publish uh, some extras on uh, various, uh, sometimes random things. Uh, once again, Tuesday, uh, a few journals were mentioned that added uh, seven hundred dollars. Uh, for any uh, graphics in color. Or a few hundred dollars each time uh, you had more than uh, six pages. For each page, uh, each page uh, beyond the, the six one, you had a hundred dollars added. So a PC can buy it even if the normal price is this, this one. Again, APC is not only for open access, but it is largely, largely used for open access. Any other question? Um, maybe a small example of how you can uh, publish open access. Thank <laughs> you. 
with the cruelty. <laughs> so, an example of an open archive. And uh, so, uh, national uh, open archive in France. Uh, one can uh, deposit the file. Usually, um, the uh, the system will analyze the PDF, uh, find the DOI, and uh, gather, harvest the metadata from the DOI. Uh, if not, it will take uh, the metadata from the PDF, and finally, uh, <coughs> only take the title. So if I wish... Uh, Uh, 
doing it, and with one page you can uh, publish in three various monocles. Any questions regarding uh, this work? The, the only thing you, you can take from it is that uh, publishing open access is rather easy on, in open archive and it takes uh, a few minutes uh, and not longer. And again, it helps to be familiar with the computers that you're using. Um, any questions regarding the uh, open archive? We have a few tools regarding um, open access. A link to AL, a link to Sharpa um, to search for the open access policies. Um, direct to, and, and um, this is a guide that will explain you how to uh, find the postprint uh, to find the version of your publication that you can uh, publish in open access. Um, if you check uh, it, uh, it is a guide that will explain how to find uh, the postprint on, you, on the subdivision pages of the various publishers. And depending on the publisher that you, you select, you will find a guide to find this uh, version of your article that you can publish. <coughs> you will also find the links to the viewer check and the repository journal list. To their search. Can you explain what a predatory journal is? <laughs> uh, a predatory, predatory journal yeah. is a journal or a publisher uh, a journal, uh, that uh, use, uses uh, the, um, the gold open access model to scam uh, young publishers by promising them. Uh, a high uh, factor, a uh, high factor impact, impact factor, mm -hmm. um, and uh, for a journal that we don't last a few uh, issues before being cancelled. All right. Sometimes they uh, simply copy uh, the web page of a digital journal yeah. and uh, disappear so after a few months. How do you know if your article has been? Stolen like this or predated? What's the word? Predated. Predated. How would you know? Predatorized. How would you know? Um, the the model is to uh, if you to, it. to contact uh, directly young researchers, often PhD students, uh, yeah. doesn't know this, and uh, tell them that uh, your publication uh, we have a high impact factor with us. Uh, we promise you that uh, it will uh, be uh, accepted in no time. And there is uh, then a small FEC uh, cost. Okay. And, and that's just uh, that's Okay. <coughs> so when it's too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Voilà. And there is a, a list, of, um, an updated list. Right. Of this uh, journal that is publishers, and printed journal or journals misappropriated, uh, which I meant to do that, uh, copy the web page. 
Uh, to find the information in best search for open access journals, <coughs> you maybe know already NPLTD, which is a, a search engine for the thesis. <coughs> However, uh, the thesis that you will find on this, uh, this uh, search engine is not guaranteed to be uh, accessible. Some of them are only uh, to be to be seen by members of the, of the <coughs> university. MPWOL, uh, a weather extension for open access uh, articles, activates each time there is a scientific publication with a DOI uh, matching, a DOI uh, mentioned in an open access uh, archive. Any questions on uh, anything? Can you, can you go back to the presentation? I have a question. Um, can you go to slide 12, please? There we go. So if, if you can explain this. The next, the next generation metrics. Next generation. What the next generation metrics? Um, results have been only uh, evaluated by uh, the your H index or the impact factor of the journal you publish. The idea is to uh, evaluate you for your contribution to uh, the scientific community, uh, which means. Uh, you will be evaluated uh, on your on the your, the percentage of your publications that are available in open access, um, but also on um, if you become a researcher on the PhD students you managed on the, the project that you led. <coughs> Uh, next, gen next generation metrics uh, will be uh, will value quality over quantity. Just a question, maybe an observation of how it's assessed. So, if one of the uh, assessments is on publishing open access, mm -hmm. that seems to really um, support institutions and academics who have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And it's just in a way of reinforcing certain discrepancies between researchers and universities who can afford it. That, that depends on the uh, open access uh, model. Uh, typically, typically uh, green open access um, publication doesn't involve uh, any money. Uh, for our example, uh, creating the, the university uh, version of AL. Uh, cost, uh, at the cost of uh, 2,000 euros, which is about one uh, APC for one article. Yeah. So it's a rather on the sheet size. Okay. Um, yeah. Also, uh, it will allow um, researchers from uh, from disadvantaged countries such as South America, Africa, to share their work. Uh, right now, they have a problem of uh, inequality regarding the funds. Open access will allow them to rise uh, to the level of other countries. Uh, there was a map, I will try to find it and add it to. Uh, the PowerPoint that showed the activity uh, of uh, the knowledge sharing, I think, uh, 
often involved America, uh, Asia, and Europe. All of the other countries were left behind. And when I, I said Europe, it was rather, rather West, uh, West of Europe. I don't know if I answered your comment. Uh, 
Open science, if you are interested in uh, other forms of uh, open science, I uh, mostly dealt with open access publications. If you are interested in open, uh, open data, I uh, invite you to check European data infrastructure, infrastructure. And if you are interested in uh, uh, open source software, European Open Science Cloud. Uh, um, what is your personal opinion about uh, repositories like Sci-Hops, for instance? Like, because I know that for instance, my university doesn't have as much access as yet other universities. Would that mean that I would have to have a bad or not incomplete research because I wouldn't have access to everything I need? So I would need to resort to these kind of illegal sources, though they actually promote. Open access, but not necessarily. It's a gray zone, maybe. I don't know. What is your opinion? Because you know, it's quite common for researchers to. We come, we come back to the problem of equality. Yeah. Um, each time I, I present open open access to to our student, I say I can't. Uh, I can't tell you about uh, other solutions that I cited, but uh, already you know what then. Uh, it varies from country to country. Uh, Germany, for example, has uh, cancelled the subscription to uh, high profile publishers and has said uh, directly to uh, the gathering of uh, library representatives that they suggest to their own universities to use Sayed to replace uh, this publisher. So, uh, uh, it's a in mean solution. However, um, we can't forget that Sayed only exists because there are subscriptions. Sayed is a... Uh, Sayed uses subscription for paying uh, organisms uh, to um, to publish the uh, pirate versions of the articles. So there has to be someone who is subscribed. It can't completely replace subscription. Uh, what I can tell you is that publishers go towards an open access model in general. Uh, for example, Elsevier uh, worked with uh, French uh, universities and we publish, after two years, as a Every publication by uh, French authors, they will be uh, transferred di directly to Ralph. Yes. There are also a transforming agreement, which means uh, hybrid journals will go toward uh, an open, uh, completely open access model. And you can see that uh, publishers are not uh, are not opposed. To uh, the open access model, they uh, mostly try to, do, to, to make money, and uh, publishers like Elsevier uh, already tr try to, uh, to, to offer a new model. They offer um, tools to create an open archive for an institution, they offer a tool to uh, share data. data. Um, they even uh, offer a tool to, uh, um, but uh, there, there are also rumors that they would try and uh, buy ResearchGate to uh, uh, get their hands on the publications on their own. So, um, publishers go towards open access, not with the best of intention, but uh, um, open access is really the, the future for most of them. <coughs> so, SAYO will, in the end, uh, be, uh, uh, be worthless since uh, most of the publications will be uh, on open access. The question is who will pay for this open access? Thank you.
questions? Yeah. Uh, maybe um, small detour by Jovian and Saint Paul. Thank you.